Hello and welcome to another video. Now I know it's been a while, probably about four weeks. I'm sorry. Um, I know subscriptions have been very dead lately on YouTube, and I don't blame people. It's very hectic at Christmas, and a lot of money disappears. But anyway, that's not why we're here. This is setting up virtual hosts on a ZAMP installation and as you can see um, well this is actually remote desktop connection you can't really see it but this is connected to my home web server it's not very powerful at all single core 3 gigahertz not even a gig of RAM but it does have a PCIe graphics card so it's not using video memory up from the RAM but the specs are irrelevant I'm just my point is that you don't really need a powerful computer to act as a web server at all not with the little amount of traffic that I get anyway okay so you've got your ZAMP installation already installed this is Windows Server 2008 Enterprise if you're wondering and let's say you've got ZAMP installed it's default you've got your website files because you've been hosting elsewhere let's say and you've downloaded them to your desktop so what we want to do while we're editing is we want to stop Apache and we also want to stop MySQL or and everything basically. Then we want to come into the uh, just go into documents, whatever. First thing first, if you don't own the domain, and this is very advised if you, for testing purposes, full stop before you make it live. What you want to do is come into local disk and um, Windows um, System 32 drivers etc and then open this hosts file with notepad or whatever notepad plus plus wordpad you can open it whatever the hell you want and what we want to do is I don't why well, I actually own that domain but I still keep it as a 127.0.0.1 redirection basically so because I don't own jawskiller.com when we type that into my web browser rather than resolving the IP address through my ISP my computer is literally going to point jawskiller.com to myself and same for notscomputers.co.uk and then from there the Apache server will handle what is being passed through the headers so say you've got a website called fixmypc.com you don't own the domain yet but you want to test your Apache server so just put 127.0.0.1 and then fixmypc.com but I don't want that and then once you've done all that save it the whole aim of this tutorial is to show you how to get multiple domains working with clean URLs and looking all nice working properly favicons working as such so once you specify your domains just click save I don't need to save it okay now we go into the ZAMP configuration so this is usually at C drive ZAMP <coughs> or just local disk ZAMP then we want to come into the Apache folder we're not going to be touching anything else then conf for configuration and you want to open up this HTTPD configuration file with notepad or whatever the default should be fine but make sure your server root is wherever the location of your ZAMP folder is then forward slash Apache you want to make sure that listen 80 is uncommented which it is to remove a comment by the way you just literally delete the hash off the front leave all this it should all be fine default should work use a daemon group daemon leave that as it is server admin well you can change this to whatever the hell you want I've just left it as a default server name localhost colon 8 there make sure that is as it is document root this one's pretty important make sure that one is your ZAMP directory forward slash ht docs you can set it to whatever you want of course but that's the default and it works fine so I suggest keep it like that um, well this is fine it's just some aliases which we'll get onto in a sec okay so 
because we've got multiple domains hosted off this single installation we have to use what are called virtual hosts so rather than having multiple servers for multiple websites which is stupid um, we have one server one XAMPP installation with one Apache server on it and essentially this is going to create the clean URLs this isn't going to make it so you can use multiple websites but it's going to make it so when you go to notscomputers.co.uk rather than taking you to jawsykiller.com forward slash ncs2 forward slash index.php when you type in notscomputers.co.uk it's going to take you to notscomputers.co.uk and it's not even going to say forward slash index.php it's just going to come up with the default how every website normally looks just the URL and then the website's working fine because so what this alias does is when they go to this um, folder here rather than displaying all of that information in the URL it's going to then once they've resolved it it's going to take them as this is the root this is the root directory of that <laughs> website basically so to do this we have to define an alias so literally just type in alias then space then whatever is at the end of the URL usually so this is the folder in ht docs so forward slash ncs2 then you want to follow that in quoted location for that folder then we need to make a directory tag inside the beginning of the directory tag once again quoted um, location of that folder so for my Knox computers folder it is inside htdocs forward slash ncs2 so rather than go it the Apache taking them to georgekiller.com forward slash ncs2 is going to take them to just forward slash and then that's it of notscomputers.co.uk now this bit's important you need to make sure allow override is set to all like that then you need order space allow comma deny you're not allowed spaces after or preceding the comma otherwise you'll get errors and then you need allow space from space all and that means that anybody can go on the website you you need to make sure that is as it is and you'll be good to go what I did then is I selected this alias control C control V changed around a few of the things so I've got one for my Jaws Killer website changed the document route left this allow from all order allow deny and allow override all as same as it is save the httpd file no I don't want to change then we want to come into the extras folder well extra folder and we want to open up httpdv hosts now this is where the errors are usually made when we're specifying a virtual host always 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 you want to put this before the virtual host block so if you don't do that you're going to encounter numerous errors and lots of problems later on so put that always put that before a virtual host block and then when if you create a new virtual host block put it again just to be sure and then you'll have no problems so that is name virtual host space asterisk colon 80 then we want to specify virtual host tag space asterisk colon 80 end the tag then we want server name space then your website with the www dot then we want to set an alias so server alias space your website without www dot this you can specify multiple aliases actually here so if somebody goes to I don't know Bob's your uncle dot com and they've got it set in their host files to go to 81 point so basically you can have multiple domains pointing to exactly the same website um, through the Apache server but this makes it so that if they don't enter www dot it's still going to resolve it and work then we need to specify an admin this is an email so if uh, a page doesn't work on your website it will come up saying I don't know let's I don't know what error but let's just say an error comes up it will say contact webmaster the person will click webmaster 
and then it will bring up their email client with this email as the recipient then the most important part document root space and then just like you did in the other file quoted location of the folder then what I did is I selected all that control C control V changed around a few of the variables and then document root and such and then we'll save it so what's going to happen is because we've set the windows host file to redirect to yourself when they type in jawskiller.com when they type in jawskiller.com it will go to 127.0.0.1 which is ourself it will then get passed on to the apache server the apache server will take the header which is jawskiller.com and it will look for a virtual host using that um, header which is this one so it will look for all this it will see this and then it will take them to this folder then the um, httpd configuration file will then turn the website address into a clean URL so it will make jawskiller.com just jawsykiller.com and then if you wanted to go into the images folder of this folder of this um, path then rather than it saying um, 81.104.237.131 forward slash jawsykiller forward slash images it will just say jawsykiller.com forward slash images which is what we want it to do because then it looks like it's a totally independent domain and that looks professional and it is professional in fact it's standard so yeah and the sa exact same thing will happen with noxcomputers.co.uk one thing to point out here is inside of the htdocs folder you'll notice that there is an index.php file now now we've specified virtual hosts this is redundant it doesn't work now so usually when they if they don't type in a domain if there's no header then it say take them to for slash bob that isn't going to work at all so you may as well delete this file i don't advise it because you can still use it for testing purposes later on which is why i've left it there but that doesn't work so don't change anything in that for a default so in, if they type in your ip address rather than one of these domains rather than using this file what it's going to do now is it will take them to the top virtual host and by top I mean the first one that the script comes along so this one will be the default so if they type in the IP address rather than one of these domains it's literally going to take them to jawskiller.com rather than Knox computers so your default um, website if you will what you want always make sure it's the top virtual host in this file so save that and then we want to start the Apache server you can do this a few ways actually so you can literally click start here and you want to start MySQL as well you could also oops ah that's not working inside there one sec you can also open the run menu windows key R and then CMD and you can type in net start space Apache 2.2 now that's the default Apache installation with my distribution of XAMPP. Yours may be different, so I don't advise this way unless you're already in CMD and you know what the service is called. So you can literally click enter there and it will start the Apache server. If you don't have XAMPP control panel, also you could do it by start run services.msc. It'll open the services dialog and it should be the top one, Apache 2.2 right click that and click start I only do it this way because sometimes ZAMP control panel doesn't start Apache for some weird reason so I do it this way just to be sure ok once that's started I'm also going to start MySQL now we will open up the web browser yes mine is Internet Explorer on the server because I don't want to install extra software and now if we go to georgekill.com um, Windows will uh, resolve that take it to the Apache server Apache server will see it's jawskiller.com through the virtual host file it will then um, take them to the, the, the root of this website 
set that as the root and then it's going to use the HTTP D configuration file to create a clean URL as you can see here we've got josekid.com forward slash and that is it so if we went to the images folder we'd get a directory listing of the um, images so rather than it being now you can see its use so now this looks like an independent website from notscomputers.co.uk which will take us to this website now this is all hosted on exactly the same server um, and then if we go to the images of this one I'm not sure if I've HT access to this no I haven't and then you can see so rather than specifying the whole crap long URL of 81.104.237.131 forward slash ncs2 forward slash images it just literally says the domain forward slash images that's the beauty of clean URLs so let's test what happens when they enter just the IP address if we go find out your IP you can go to whatsmyip.org and now it's not working because it's Internet Explorer being its usual self so I'll open Firefox on my actual main machine main machine just so you can see it working now this is my website should be up relatively soon so just keep a look out for it um, go on Google and type in what's my IP you can also get it through CMD if you're not using a router and such but whatever so just copy that this is after you've port forwarded your server by the way and such so if you're just wondering so what happens if we type in that it's going to take us to the top vhost file which was the jaws killer one if you remember so now we're on a completely separate machine and if I type in jawskiller.com it's going to take me to my server of jawskiller.com favicon's working, websites working, all the javascript is working fine press pause, yep javascript's working css is working nice and yeah it's working real well so then if we go to knots computers .co .uk instead and take us to the Knots Computers website also working perfectly CSS working, JavaScript's working and yeah um, if you're wondering how I got these websites to work without owning the domains once again I opened up the Windows host file on my other machine so um, let me find out where it is, there it is as you can see I've specified my server's internal IP address so for the redirection so on my main machine when I go to jawskiller.com rather than resolving it it's literally going to point it to my server which is 10.0.1.10 .10, and same for notscomputers.co.uk so I hope you found this tutorial um, good and informative if you have leave a comment below um, like the video subscribe to me if you haven't already and if you're going to find me useful send me a message if you're stuck now don't be disheartened if you don't get all this to work first time literally send me a youtube message or post in the comments or email me in the email in the description and i will get back to you i promise and i'll hopefully try and find a solution now this gets easier the more times you do it just the same as everything and so the only way to get better at it is to mess around with it and experiment and practice that's how I learnt taught myself it all just took a lot longer than it would with a tutorial so now you've got the tutorial there is no excuse so thanks for watching subscribe and stay tuned for more videos and also look out for my website which will be at jawskiller.com thanks for watching